Hey, 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 everybody. This is Robin from Roaming with Rover. How is everybody today? This is Finish It Friday. You are going to be so amazed. You're going to be so surprised. So last Finish It Friday, I had lots of finished items for you. So I know you're not expecting that I'm going to have anything finished this week. Well, I do. I do. I have been just working away on all kinds of things. All kinds of things. And I have started something new, which is going to be unusual for you to see as well. I have been digging around. I've been busy. I've been busy. We've all been busy. It's Christmas time. There is a million things going on. I have been searching through all my stuff, figuring out what I want to work on next, figuring out what new stuff I want to start. Trust me, I got a lot of new stuff I want to start. But I also want to get some things cleaned up, get some things cleared up that have been hanging over my head as well. So that's going on. But but everything that I'm going to show you today, it's not whips. It's not things that have been hanging around. It's all new stuff, but it's smaller things. And you know, I love the blankets. You know, I love working on the blankets, but man, the smaller stuff really gets done quick. It really does. So let's jump right in here. So the first thing that I got finished is the stocking you've seen me working on it a little bit here and there the stocking this was supposed to be a quick five day crochet along it took me two weeks but it's done and the five days was supposed to be the toe was day one the bottom part was day two this part was day three this was day four and the heel was day five well that didn't happen I kind of got stuck, I was done, I was fine with this and this, and I kind of got stuck up here. And the problem that I had was this part, I kept messing up this part and I kept having to tear it out and tear it out and tear it out. But I wanted it to be nice. I wanted it to look good. And I think this looks fantastic. And I'll tell you what, this looks so good on camera. I am really, pleased with the way this looks. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yeah, really, really nice. So let me tell you about this. And plus, okay, okay. I didn't exactly follow the pattern. Mostly, but not exactly. And I'll tell you why in a second. So this was a pattern by Juniper and Oaks, and I love her stuff. This was the pattern, Juniper and Oaks. It's the Nordic Star Christmas Stocking. And there was a video tutorial that followed along all five sections, thankfully, because I don't know if I could have figured it out otherwise. It was not hard, but there was a couple of things that I stumbled on. Um, if you have done mosaic before, you will know that the very first row, the first row in mosaic, the first row on the chart, is a what do they call it what do they call it anchor stitch and it shows up on the chart but we don't do it in the round we don't need that anchor stitch i never saw any place where it said not to do that so the first couple of rounds i was doing that anchor stitch and it was throwing my count off so if you're going to do this do not do that first crochet that first single crochet and i I never saw where it said not to do that. So probably it was just me. Um, little tiny things that, again, when I'm following instructions, I need every little thing to be mentioned. So, and again, that's just me. So when I'm done with something, I need the instructions to tell me that I am done with the blue, cut my thread. And it doesn't say that. So now I'm moving on to the next step and, and I don't know if I'm completely done 
Is it okay for me to cut my thread now? Little things like that. And so somebody who is really new at this, that might be a problem for them. So if I had not watched the video, I would not have known to do that. And eventually I would have figured it out because we'd moved on to the next thing. But those are just little bitty things that I like to see in instructions. That's just me. Okay, and that's the only negative. Little teeny tiny things like that is the only negative that I saw in the instructions for this. Other than that, they were extremely well done. Um, the chart was perfect. No problems at all. And, and it had written out instructions line by line and if I had followed the line by line instructions, it probably, I would have understood not to do that first anchor stitch. And that's probably what I should have done was just looked at the line by line instructions, which saved me a lot of grief that way. Okay, now when you get to the top here, in her, can you see it there? Yes, you can see that. In her beautiful pattern, you can see that you go up here you put this embellishment in and then you continue down here and then you've got this row. And I don't know if you can tell, you can't really tell. What I was supposed to do was do, I think this is 15 or 16 rows of single crochet, do this embellishment, do 15 more rows of single crochet, fold this over and then do that row of blue. When I was doing this, I had I don't, I don't want to say I injured my hand, but I was having a lot of pain in my hand. And those of you who crochet a lot know we baby our hands. And when your hands are hurting, you do whatever it takes to keep your hands from hurting. And single crochets hurt my hand a lot. I had already taken two days off of crocheting and I didn't want to take a lot more time off. And I found that I could crochet for, uh, on that third day, I found that I could crochet for about half an hour. And I did not want to spend several days of crocheting 20 to 30 minutes at a time just doing single crochets on this cuff. Because honestly, the only reason I made this was to learn how to do mosaic in the round. I felt like I had accomplished that and I did not feel like I wanted to spend pain on my hand and the time making 15 more rows of single crochet just to fold this cuff down. It's beautiful. It looks very, very nice on here. I don't think it makes that much of a difference for my project. So I chose not to. If my hand was not hurting, I would have finished it the way her pattern said to. I would have done those extra stitches. I would have folded this down and done. I do think that blue accent across here is beautiful and adds a lot to it. But I did not do it. So that is the only difference. Other than that, I followed her pattern exactly. I loved this heel. I was really nervous about the heel. Could not have been easier. Couldn't have been easier. Single crochets and uh, single crochet two together was the decrease. Two on this side, two on this side. That was it. And this was clever too. Um, um, what, what, what? Oh, here, this, the little loop. I thought it was just gonna be some single crochets. But we did this as if it was, um, as if we were doing a foundation. Whoops, the, the heater's throwing my papers all around. As if we were doing a foundation chain, gave it a lot more oomph to that. And this is just a chain that we wove through here. Super simple, wonderful, free pattern that she's offering. This is really cool, I love this. And it matches the blanket, the crochet along blanket that she did in the fall, which I have bought 
the pattern and bought the yarn for and will do. Love it. Thank you so much, Juniper and Oaks. And I will link this in the description down below. So that is finished item number one. Finished item number two is completely different. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I am taking some beading classes because I want to learn to make beaded earrings. Well, in the process of making, learning to make beaded earrings, learning to bead, we are, they are teaching me to do something called the peyote beading. And I made this, this really pretty Christmas bracelet. So the middle section, this middle part, is flat peyote. And then these barrels are barrel peyote. So you make them flat and then you round them and hook them together. And the funny thing is, the way you hooked it together um, was kind of like the Kirchner that we use like on the toe of the sock. That's what it reminded me of. So. This is my finished beaded bracelet. My finished beaded, and it's not perfect. It's my first finished project. I have one earring done, which I did in what's called the brick stitch. If I ever get the second earring done, I'll show it to you. But this was called the peyote stitch. And I guess a lot of the things that you do in beading are done in this peyote stitch. So I really love it. It's for me. It's not good enough to give to anybody else. Not good enough to give away as a present. And I see a lot of things in here. They're not exactly mistakes, but they're just not, you know, the finish work is not nice enough to give to somebody else. So I think it's really pretty. And I super wanted to get it done in time to wear on Christmas. So that is my second finished object. What do you think? I'm really pleased with myself. I think it turned out very, very nice. For, you know, my first time, my first time is not bad at all. And I told Mr., well, at least the beads don't take up nearly as much space as the yarn does. Okay, so I've got two finished projects. What does that mean? That means I gotta start a new project. I had planned on starting a, and I think I mentioned this before, um, I had planned on starting a hat from Stardust Crochet, and it was in order to learn another new crochet stitch, the waistcoat stitch, which is something I very much want to learn. See, I'm all about learning new things right now. Um, so the projects that I've got coming up are small projects where I can learn something new. But instead of doing that, Miss Connie over at, uh, just another stitch is that right you know you guys know I always get the names wrong I think that's it I think that's it just another stitch yeah I think that's it just another stitch um, and I'll link her information down below I was uh, talking to her and she I think this is it on the floor right here hang on one second hang on one second that's not it, that's not it. I was talking to her one day and I told her that I was just about in the process of thinking about possibly maybe doing a little bit of knitting. And she said, oh, how would you like to test a new pattern for me? And I can't show you the pattern because, of course, it's a test. And I went, uh, you know I'm not very good at this stuff, right? Right, yes, just another stitch. And she said, you'll do fine. She has much more confidence in me than I have. So I said, okay. Now, when she puts these patterns out and they're stranded fair aisles, and what stranded fair isle means is you're designing you're not designing you are you are knitting a project where it creates a picture on the project 
That's what Fair Isle is. And the way you do that is by using different colors of yarn and you're carrying the yarn along with you as you knit and you're carrying it in the back. And so you see the strands of the yarn in the back. You carry it along with you as you knit. I'm not very good at it. Some people are really good at it. And even people who are super good, you're still going to see the strands of yarn. That's what the process is. It's stranded knitting. And not only do you have to be, you have to know how to knit and you have to know how to follow a graft and you have to know how to carry this yarn and not make it so tight that the hat won't go on ahead, which is what happened last time I did a test knit for her. Um, you also have to know how to pick up these strands of yarn as you carry it along and lock them in so that you don't have, you can't carry it more than five or six stitches or your strands can't be too long is what I'm trying to say. So there's a lot going on here. I'm doing okay. It's still not amazing. It's way better than the last one and I'm figuring it out. But anywho, here's where we're at. Don't judge me. And yes, I've made many mistakes and I had to tear it out multiple times, but look at this. She's knitting. It's so cute. The tree, the truck with the tree in the back. And yeah, you can see my rose because I'm still, I don't, and I don't know how to make it not too tight. I'm, I, it's way better than last time. You'll, you'll actually be able to wear the hat this time, I think. But it's such a cute pattern. Such a cute pattern. But I'm really, really pleased with it. I'm knitting. Are you guys just amazed? Yeah. Super, super cute. So here's the inside, because you guys, I have no problem showing you my insides of things. So on the bottom part, it looks really good. Really, because you're automatically, it's two by two. So you automatically have very short strands that you're carrying it on. The rest of it, not so good. And somebody told me when you're doing stranded knitting, to turn it inside out. Well, I did that at first and somehow I ended up knitting it backwards. So I had to rip out many rows. Ripping out knit is not as easy as ripping out crochet. Trust me. So this is what the inside looks out, looks like, but that's what it's supposed to look like. This is what stranded knitting looks like on the inside. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now, here's another problem that I have. These are my ends. I don't know how, I don't know how to finish my ends. I don't know how to weave in ends, ends in knitting. So, guess what, Miss Connie? I'm gonna need your help. Um, I had to change color a couple times. Because I, <clears throat> I was working on this, this pretty yarn. Isn't this pretty yarn? I was working on this, and I thought I was working on my yarn, but I had a, I had a length of yarn that apparently I had cut off of something and had wrapped around it. And all of a sudden, oh, my yarn ended. <laughs> so I had to add more yarn. Um, I have learned how to do a stitch. I am going to have to learn how to do some decreases. I've watched several videos. I've had to learn how to lock in my stitches. I'm learning a lot, which is what I want to do. I want to learn these things. And I have to learn how to deal with this. Because I don't know what to do. I don't know. There's got to be a way. People do it. I don't know. So somebody's going to have to tell me or show me or i got to look it up. So that's it. I'm thrilled. I got two finished projects and I really love that. I love this. I love this. And this is going to be finished maybe by tomorrow night. We'll see. 
We will see. I plan on, today is Saturday. Christmas is Monday. I've got a couple things to still wrap. I want to make some, uh, what's it called? Gingerbread. And I might make some toffee. I found a really super, super simple recipe for toffee. If it turns out, I'll give you guys the recipe because I got it off of YouTube and it looked amazingly simple. If it turns out, I will do that. Uh, this is made out of basically scraps. I've got, a, a, this was in my stash. Literally, I don't even have a wrapper for this. I have, the red is some uh, big twists that I, every single bit of this is just parts of skeins that I had hanging out from things that I had done over the summer. Um, that's the good thing about doing a hat like this with all the multiple colors. It literally takes up no yarn at all. So that was kind of cool too. So yeah, I should have this done by tomorrow. And of course it's not for anybody. It's, it's just me figuring this out. Her patterns are always wonderful. I have not found one single problem. I'm gonna make a couple suggestions to her as a basically brand new knitter that I would say, um, as a new knitter, I would have liked this instruction. She's such a good knitter. She just looks at something and knows what to do. So, you know, as a brand new baby knitter, I needed to be told to do this because I mucked it up and now I will have to go back and fix it where somebody who knows what they're doing just knows that when you get to this point, you do this. So maybe she will put it in, maybe she won't. Um, but I'm always excited when somebody asks me to test a pattern. So this has been fun. So after this, we'll see. I kind of almost need to get going on the things that I need to get going on. But that's it for Finish It Friday. Got a lot of stuff done. No idea what I'm going to have for you next week. We might be just chit-chatting. <laughs> but I'll have this. This will be finished and I can show it to you. But that's it for now. Please like, please subscribe if you're not already. I really appreciate that. And it helps the channel out so much. We've got, just so you know, we've got a really fun giveaway coming up. Uh, I'm thinking mid-January is when it's going to happen. So be on the lookout for that. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.